Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new episode of Let Us Talk To You. Yeah, I'm here with the usual suspects. I'm in trouble. I've got Alex from WrestleBuddy, Bobby from Bobby's Breakdowns, also associated with Zero News. And I've got the insider representing Zero News, Zero. Gentlemen, how are we doing? I'm so excited. We're back for another episode. I'm good. Let's I'm do good. It. While I'm here, let's do it. I don't know how many of these I got left, but let's do it. Well, we're glad you joined us. I'm glad to hear everybody's doing well. I was going to tease, don't uh, don't shout me down all at once. But thankfully, you know, Bobby uh, chimed in. I, you know, I love you guys. <laughs> What's going on? When I'm I'm not the shy one around here. Uh, I've been told I'm loud. You know, different. I don't I don't hear it, but you know that's yeah, great. definitely, definitely. Yeah. I, I've been told I, I talk too much, but apparently uh, I Alex, like to talk so, uh, too. Surprised at <laughs> me. Yeah. Well, hey, we we got a lot of business to take care of, uh, gentlemen. Uh, first thing is first. Hey, speaking of India, where Alex is from and, and currently a resident, we've got John Cena going to be headlining the big WWE uh, event over there in India. So, Alex, I'll go to you first. Uh, how excited are you to have a star of the caliber of John Cena appearing at the show you're going to be attending? Very excited. Definitely it came as a surprise for all of us because we were not expecting that any big name will be there because when they announced it was Rollins and McIntyre, the two big names and with Becky and Rhea Ripley. But today when they announced Cena and Cena is coming to India like after 20 years around. He, he came to India when he had this uh, title belt with this what what do you call that thing which would get the like spinner bell the spinner, spinner yeah. bell uh, yes yeah people the were, spinner yeah. bell huh? 2005 i think so <laughs> yeah in 2005 yeah. he came with the spinner belt and after 20 around 20 years he's coming back again and he's wrestling last time when he came he just came like as an appearance kind of thing yeah. That is huge for all of us. That his first time wrestling in India. That's dope. Well, that's, that's why I wanted so to go to you first because I, I know this is significant. I mean, he's not just making an appearance, like you said. He's actually going to be competing. Yes. When speaking of John Cena, and I'm, and I'm, so I'm happy actually very lucky that I I get the ringside seats, like right at the hard cam side. Ooh. Yes, I'm jealous. So, yeah. <laughs> and, so when do we, uh, leave? we get the meet and greet pass also? <laughs> So when do we leave? <laughs> I, when do we leave? Yes, I said we. Um, that's okay. You can message me the details. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, no, I, what, I, what, I, what Bobby's trying to say is he wants to be there with you all. Yeah. Oh, yes. Man, ringside for Cena? I would, yes. Yeah. Uh, ringside I, seats and meet and greet pass. So I hope that mm -hmm. we get to see Cena in person. So if you meet Cena, I'm going to be best. super jealous. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm already jealous. Like, I mean, he's going to be on the on yeah. the hard cam. But like, to meet Cena face to face and get a picture with him, that's like, that's like the one wrestler I want to meet, man. And we are going to promote Zero there with our t-shirts. Hey! So Zero and Wrestle Buddy. Let's yep. Go. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Nice way to get Sam out see. there. Oh, 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 you, oh, you're going to no, hear Zero, you okay. continue. All you're going to hear is the music. You're not actually going to be able to see him, are you? Because it's John Cena. So, you know. I'd... <laughs> yeah, he's anyway. going to be invisible. Yeah, it's, it's going to, you're just going to uh, see somebody just randomly getting thrown across the ring, you know, with nobody else there because he's because he's invisible. So, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to bring that one in. I had to uh, do that joke. No, I, I think it was brilliant. Uh, guys, you know, chat me up a little more on this John Cena news. I mean. Um, I think I'll it's worth it. uh, diving into a little bit more. So whoever wants to take it. I'll take it. Um, so I'm not totally caught up on the India show. You said it's Seth versus McIntyre, or is it just Seth mm -hmm. and McIntyre appearing? Seth and McIntyre are there. Oh, okay. They're not facing. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. And Becky and Rio. Now, do you know what time this starts over here? My time? Your time will be like morning morning like like the five like like 5 a.m or 
No, 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 not not not, not, not five hours. What is what is the time now at your place? What is the time now? Three o five. So three o'clock. It's two o five here. Three o'clock. Okay, so three o'clock is four. It's like eleven a.m. Ten or eleven a.m. Oh, that's not bad. I'll, I'll watch that. Okay. I was like, I'm not yeah. getting up at three a.m. for this, but that's not bad. Okay. We always get up at three a.m. to watch the shows. Every yeah, paper review, we get up to watch three a.m. I did. I did that once. I did it for Australia in 2018. I was up at like five a.m. Yeah. And by the end yeah. of the day, I'm like, Super I'm showdown. never doing this again. Yeah. But um, honestly, it's cool. You guys get to see Cena. I yeah. honestly, I I was hit or miss if I was gonna watch this show, but now I feel like if Cena's wrestling, yeah. I kind of have to watch this show. Uh, oh wait, I'll be it. No, I won't be able. To. Sweet, let's go. Yeah. Um. No, this is a big deal. Um. They're really making the most of the show, which is good, as they should. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Anytime I get to see Cena on my TV, I'm extremely happy. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more with y'all. And zero. Uh, what's your perspective on this news of Cena uh, headlining the India event for WWE? It's- well, yeah, it's, it's like I was saying before we came on air, it's the big name because you haven't got Roman. That's that's one of the main reasons behind it is, cool. you know, no, no Roman Reigns in India. You had to have somebody else big in there because like what Alex was saying, you've got um, Seth and Drew. No offense to them, but they're not as big as your John Cena's, your Romans and stuff like that, yep. you know, so, they're, um, so where you had no Roman, you had to have somebody else bigger in there and Cena just fits that all over, you know, even just that one appearance and you know, I didn't realize it was 20 years and that would obviously be, that would be a special moment as well. So that would give that whole, oh my God, you know, we've got to watch this show because it, it's, you know, it's Cena at the end of the day for it. And you don't know how many, well, you don't know how many more matches he's got under him. You don't know how many more, how many more years he's going to be about in the company and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's going to be that rare to see him now. It's every opportunity they've got, get him there. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect the way they've done it, basically. Yeah, and it's he'll hard be on to the, uh, disagree. Hmm. And he'll be on the September first SmackDown in, I believe it's at Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's yeah. the season. Um, it's the season premiere, isn't it? That's why. Yeah, it'd be like season premiere yeah. or something. That's what they're doing it. If if you think about it, they always do one every year, don't they? It's normally like September fourth or September whatever it be. So yeah, it'd be September first this year for it. And it's yes, not a real season you know, premiere, but I digress. Yeah. But we so yes. maybe like uh, I'm expecting that in the season premiere he face off with Grayson Waller and then he challenged for a match at Indian event Grayson Waller okay. versus John Cena most likely yeah that would be yeah cool. be. yeah, I, that would yeah. Be I mean obviously nothing's come down yet but as I was saying before we came on air as well is obviously um, Sean Monsap has teased a tag team match between with Cena and Knight versus uh, Austin Theory and The Miz for the India events. So, I mean, you should take out. Theory out of there and put Waller. In. I feel like that I mean, yeah, that, 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 yes. that, could, that could work better. Yeah, that could. Like, I love yes. Theory, but like, yeah, that, that but then, over. Yeah, but then no, I can also that, yes, see, that could be over. Yes, yeah. But then I can also see why they would do the Fury and um, LA Knight because, of course, because the whole, you know, the whole US title thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, they're kind of beefing. Yeah. 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 So that could be the whole thing there. That's probably why they they could end up doing that is Fury and um, Fury and Miz obviously still have this feud going on, don't they, for the US title. Wait, isn't Miz on Raw? Yeah, Miz is on Raw, but yeah, of course he's, he's been appearing on both shows. Yeah, yeah but of course don't forget he's been appearing on both shows, and so is Miz. Uh, both, um, so is LA Knight as well. So yeah, yeah, sure. So, so I, I like that. Uh, I reveal something to you guys. I reveal something to you about this Indian event. Who all are advertised here at the moment? Yeah. Number one is Seth Rollins. Number two is Drew McIntyre, yeah. Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn. Yeah. Uh, Odyssey Jones oh, and uh, sure. Jinder Mahal uh, with this Veer and Sangha. That fan. And uh, Cena. One or two guys are. Ah, Bron uh, Breaker. Bron Breaker is also oh, yeah. there. Bron Breaker is on the poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so he, if Bron could be coming up soon, then there was rumors that Bron was coming up. So I mean, he could come up ready in time yeah. for that, could he? And that. I, th- I mean, it, I thought I mean, he'd be up by now, but. 
But maybe the, maybe they can pull off like this that Braun Breaker comes out and he cuts a promo here in India and Cena comes out and like just an attitude yeah, adjustment yeah. and it's over. Maybe it is yeah. possible. I mean, yeah, to, to get yeah, um, sure. Yeah, then that's Braun's official way up to the up to the uh, main roster. Yeah. That could work. That could that yeah, that could work, can it? I mean, mm, hmm. yeah, anything's possible. If I hear anything, I'll obviously let you guys know. But I've not heard anything at the moment. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, we appreciate it. If if you hear anything, yeah, please inform us. And uh, hey, fellas, I'm I'm excited for uh, Cena making a return. And uh, we're speaking of uh, WWE, we're going to switch gears and keep with uh, someone who's been in the headlines, and that would be the Rated R Superstar Edge, yeah. the Hall of Famer. First off, what are your uh, guys' thoughts on his last match taken on Sheamus per uh, this week's edition of Friday Night SmackDown? Uh, just give me your impressions, and I'll, I'll start with you, Bobby. All right. I will let you know this. Well in advance, I was supposed to go see a movie that Friday night, but then I saw the dates. I'm like, yeah, I'm skipping this movie. <laughs> I was like, I got to see Edge's last possible match live for sure. Um, It wouldn't have been my ideal last opponent or location for him, but... He's earned to go out, possibly, not saying he's done, he's earned to go out the way he wants. So if he's happy with beating Sheamus, I would have lost to Sheamus, but if he's happy with all that, so be it. Um, great career, and get that man to a convention so I can meet him. That's yeah, all I certainly. Uh, uh, Zero? Um, what did I you mean, think? Yeah, it's... Michael Bobby oh, said it was the... Yeah, it was a good match. Obviously, I think the reason why they done the whole Sheamus thing was they originally wanted it to be somebody else. Uh, as Sheamus wasn't obviously first pick for the match. It was going to be they wanted Randy or something, but of course Randy's still injured and not actually yeah. medically cleared. So obviously, mm -hmm. so that's why they picked Sheamus. But they also as well after the match as well. I don't know if you've seen the video, but Ed, Edge cut a promo saying it was his last match in Toronto. He didn't actually say for yeah. WWE. Yeah, and that was because yeah. they're, they're still actually discussing. They're still actually trying to get Edge to sign a new contract, and there is rumours that he could be running through now, like a six-month extension or something. So he goes through to Mania, and then officially finishes at Mania. Um, you know, the bigger, the bigger stage in that. Um, but Sorry, can't. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you know, it's yeah. <laughs> it, I'll get that worked it, out. It, Don't it, worry. it was it was a good match and that, but yeah, it was just it should have been somebody better than Sheamus, to be fair, in my eyes. Yeah. yeah. It was also should be at WrestleMania. But again, if he's earned to go out on his terms, especially after mm. it was taken away from him once already. So I put that all aside and But I'm just mad they won't show me anymore. It's a bummer. Real yeah. bummer. Bob Bobby's you know, disappointed uh, in the uh, I, I feel sorry for him. There, there's nothing I could do, though, for you, Bobby. I, we, we love you, but that, that's all I can do. Alex, uh, love you guys too. tell us uh, yeah, your takeaways from uh, Edge's last match against Sheamus. For me, the match was pretty good. It was, for me, like a four-star match. But I'm actually disappointed. that Last time also, I said that he should retire with the title. He wins the title and then he retired next day. Because when he retired nine years ago, he was champion. And he should win the title at WrestleMania. That is my only thing with this all retirement thing. And AEW, he will never go to AEW. I can give you this thing in stamp paper written. Never he will go. I have seen one uh, report. I think it was from Fightful, I think so. That... People from AW believes, okay, I also believe that Edge will come to India, so he will come here. No, he will not come here. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> just by believing something, it is not possible. Koki well, Khan thinks something else in his parallel universe, <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> He's not going to AW, but I'm actually disappointed with the last match he should have at a big stage, at least at Survivor Series. At least at Survivor yeah. or Royal Rumble. Yeah, I think hard... Edge is a loyal guy. Yeah. 
He's a hardcore yeah. Canadian, so if he went out in front of the Canadian crowd, I would not be shocked. He's Canada falling through, and I respect it, you know. But um, they all, AW also thinks they could get Brock Lesnar, so I mean, yes. take that as you please. Matt, I think Matt Hardy said that. I believe that. Was yeah. Matt Hardy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We if, yeah. Yeah. But if, if, if you see what they're crying out, if you see what they're crying out for now, no, well, because I, because obviously people have now come to accept that Edge is not going to be at all out, all in. Um, yeah, yeah. Basically, the AEW fans are now saying because the card is so lackluster, they want Goldberg versus Ryback. That's what fans are crying out for. They're asking Tony Khan to book Goldberg <laughs> versus Ryback for the event because the um, because Why? AEW because AEW fans themselves have turned around and said the card is that lackluster because they were expecting Edge to show up and have a match and do something. Now, because they can't have Edge now, they now want uh, Goldberg versus Ryback. So they're, they're, they're desperate. They're desperate. Wait a minute. You you want you're upset about a lackluster card, and your genius idea is Goldberg, who almost killed the Undertaker, mm. and Ryback, who is just yeah. awful. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Ryback I, who I, wants I, to date Linda McMahon to get yeah. back at Vince McMahon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't I, think I, Vince I, would care, but yeah. no, I, I. I've been seeing it all over that yeah people are actually asking for them two to fight and everything and ryback wants to fight as well and um you know and that and yeah that's what they're calling out for or they call or they're calling out for somebody else who's an ex-wwe superstar who can be a big name as edge and that as as i've said it's it's Ooh. as soon as somebody as soon as somebody gets too old and that it's, like i've said this all along for example like how long have you had what was the last wwe star to join soraya you know, Sor- um, Soraya came yeah. in, didn't she? Well, yeah. Was she the yeah. last one? Yeah, yeah, Soraya would have been the last I, one. I yes. can't remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, so it's like, Soraya came in, she's been in there, what, a couple of months now, people are already bored, so now no. they now want another, yeah, so now they now want an ex, now they now want another ex WWE star, hence Goldberg, was, hence oh, they Reddit, was, and that was like a year ago, Soraya, believe it yeah. or not. Yes. It was September. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 now they now want wow. Sasha, they want, you know, I've even seen some people saying they would be happy with people like Nia or, you know, they wanted Lacey Evans as well. That was a new one. As oh, soon as, as soon as, yeah, it's, it's, as soon as, as soon as it was obviously announced that Lacey Evans is gone, they want Lacey Evans. So that's the, um, yeah, that's the thing now. I'm pretty old in what to do. They won't. <laughs> I, res- I respect Lacey Evans. She mm-hmm. served my country. So, you know, of course, I respect the hell out of her for that. But, She's not a good wrestler. <laughs> like I said, I respect her, but wrestling, it's uh, it's not for you, girl. <laughs> well, you know, I, I can see uh, that point of view, but I, I think I would disagree respectfully because the way they've restarted her so much. That, yeah, that would oh, be the only, oh, yeah. the only thing. That's, yeah, they, they've repackaged her. her. I, you yeah. bring up a good point, but I think they, they haven't allowed her the, the opportunities oh, to showcase yeah. or, or give her that potential. I, I think that's a valid point. And I, I think, too, it, it's not always on their creative. Uh, Lacey, she has to take some responsibility. But I yeah. think it didn't resonate. We, we thought if we saw this different side of her personality with her family drama, that would help people love her, and, and they did yeah. Uh, she's they, got they like real life it. trauma. Yeah. Yes. Like... Oh, I know. And <clears throat> and I don't know if it's so much wanting to spend time with the family, like she's saying, or it's just, hey, maybe she didn't understand the backstage politics. The office were kind of back and forth on her. And yeah, uh, no, I, I mean, who knows? I, I hate to speculate, but I, I think Lacey could have yeah. showed us more because she was in there with the Charlotte, some, some good talent. Yeah. But I think it may have took the right kind of opponent. I'm just trying to look at it from yeah. a different point of view, not not saying what you're saying is no. off yeah. or wrong. I agree because there's only so much she can do with what she's given, you know. And if they right. constantly repackage her, that's not on her, yes. you know. She's just doing what she's told. But talent-wise, there's a lot more better wrestlers than her. But again, I still respect her nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's I, hard to argue. I, cause, go I ahead. agree with Tyler in this thing because if you guys have watched Lacey in NXT, when she was in NXT, I she did. was doing a great job there. And the biggest yeah. mistake that WWE did, that they changed her gimmick from the Southern Bell to something oh, yeah. Sassy Southern else. Bell. Yeah, yeah. Sassy Southern. That was the best gimmick for her. And it was actually yeah. working well. Even in the main roster, she was doing pretty good. 
but when they change and back to back then she was in love with Ric Flair then she get actually pregnant that time <laughs> then she go then again she come back so they just and in between the sergeant slaughter thing happened that he st- he get pissed up and why she yeah. using my gimmick so <laughs> so many thing was yeah, going that on. Did actually help. yes yeah. and actually i feel it is a very good decision that lacy left wwe mm. and for me she should go to impact wrestling that is the best place for her because impact have the best women's division in entire pro wrestling community at the moment and she would be one of the bigger names yes yes yeah, sure. she would be names. elevated yes yeah oh no, yes. exactly she would she would be up there yes. for sure that's hard yes. slaughter stuff oh my goodness i <laughs> Yeah, I've, I didn't I've understand that. Yeah, I've met the man. Extremely nice gentleman, but if anybody has a right to do a marine gimmick, it's her. She yes. earned it. She's yeah, the only see, one she, that can do with, it. With Not respect, you. she actually did it. Yeah, yeah. she yes. did it. So she could do it. But it's like, dude, it's like what? And then his daughter was going crazy. Like I don't know. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah, talk about wow, she was even chumming in, and I'm, I'm saying that respectfully. But zero, we've talked about the women's uh, division issues with WWE and a lot of companies. But Alex brought up a great point. Impact, they've got mm-hmm. Trinity, they've they've got uh, Colleen King, who I've seen on the independent yeah. scene. Uh, yes. you, you're right, Alex. Diona, a lot of great stars. Diona yeah. Parazo, she I left. And, yeah, Parazzo, yeah. What she become in Impact? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, so zero. Do you think Lacey? Yeah, do you think she's Lacey is indeed finished with uh, her uh, in ring career? Maybe she just needs this time with the family a break. And do you think Impact's the right fit for her? Because that was actually going to be a follow up question that Alex uh, brought to our attention. So I want to thank uh, you, Alex, and the whole panel. So Zero, what's your your impressions of the Lacey Evans I, departure? I do believe Lacey's done. She she's opened up a cafe and everything, and yeah, you know I she's doing, she's doing, yeah. yeah. She, yeah, she she's doing a lot of stuff outside of wrestling. I I truly believe she's done because she's also been talking about opening up a um, OnlyFans and everything like that. So you know, just so about to be, say um, that. Yeah. So <laughs> and, I, and, and I and I know now the o- the only company that really allows you to have one of them, and like especially the stuff that she was talking about that she's going to post is going to be AEW. Um, so that would literally be her only option because Impact I know don't allow it. Um, you know. WWE definitely don't allow it. So, you know, if if she is going to go rest, if she is going to come back to wrestling, it's either going to have to be somewhere like New Japan or um, <laughs> AEW. But, but yeah. I, I, I can't I can't see her though. I can't see her wanting to be on the road all that much because you know if she goes to AEW, Tony's going to literally use her every single week. And where she's obviously very family orientated and she's got this cafe, I personally can't see her wanting to do it mm. every week. And that and traveling, so no, I mm-hmm. my thought is she, my my uh, thing is that I think she's done. She's she's done completely. I do believe. I mean, but, look look at what yeah. Mandy Rose did. She opened up OnlyFans or whatever it was called. She's making like a million dollars, <laughs> and like it's I unbelievable. Mean, if Lacey did it, I wouldn't be shocked. And the benefits are there. Yeah. I hope that Lacey shouldn't do this thing because I just hope that she didn't do this thing, this only fans thing, because you know what is this only fans and every guy just put his hand inside his pants and put money out. It is like that. So <laughs> it is very simple. <laughs> and yeah. our only fan is like that. So it is. Yeah, uh, you never. <laughs> okay. You never know what to expect on this show. <laughs> I am laughing because of Bobby's face. I saw Bobby's face. And he just... Yeah, his his expression is uh, t- telling a story. I'll tell you. And boy, yes. am I blushing or what? Uh, because OnlyFans is very simple concept. It is just mm. you go there, upload your picture, which you upload in Instagram also without any cost. You go upload there and this uncles, these old guys, they will come. One hat is inside their pants, one hat is in their wallet. And okay, money, 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 money. It is like that. It is very simple. It is like that. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh my god. Yeah. Where, where, where do we go from here, Zero? <laughs> yeah, true, right? yeah, I I'm, I'm crying. I'm literally crying. No, I, oh, I, 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 I do agree with Alex. It is that that is obviously that is what happens. So 
if Lacey does yes. go down that route, then you know, then it's um, then yeah, she's <laughs> well, she must have a lot of trust between her and her uh, between her and her husband to be able to do that's that. That's the you know. best. That's the best explanation <laughs> of OnlyFans yeah. I've ever heard. Yeah. I, yeah. Yes, uh, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I'm speechless. That, that doesn't happen often. <laughs> I, I don't know what what to say. I mean, I'm kind of with Bobby. Mm-hmm. Uh, where do we go from here? Uh, yeah. we, we, she's wondering the same thing. Wait, Maybe we need to move on. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, was, that was, was awesome. It was pipe bomb. It was pipe bomb from my. <laughs> no, no, no. You you did. Hey, you did, did fine, Alex. Hey, oh, you, you're honest, and I, I I appreciate it. But at the same time, I'm like, okay. How do we uh, get the show back? <laughs> uh, anyway, AEW. Uh, um, yes. Yeah. Hey, speaking of AEW, yeah, let's let's talk some AEW. All lands coming up. Uh, as I'm laughing, how uh, we're, I'm trying to get serious, but hey, we're gonna have fun, and I'm laughing. Uh, it's all good. So, uh, CM Punk versus Samoa Joe at All In, and we'll talk about other matches. I know it's one of Bobby's favorites. Uh, anytime you mention CM Punk. <laughs> What are some what are some creative directions? Yeah. What are some creative directions? Yeah. So what the what the the uh go to sleep he hit on Samoa Joe on Saturday was the worst yeah. thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. It, it was fine. I'm, I'm like no. I get it. Joe's a big boy. I'm not you know, it's hard, but still. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know. Um I hate everything that CM Punk is doing right now, quite frankly. <laughs> the fake world champion is so stupid, but I, I, maybe you all have other opinions. I don't know. No, no that I mean, that's fair. I I was kind of teasing with you anyways, because I, I know you've been honest about your feelings yeah. towards CM Punk. But realistically, even if you're a critic of him and you don't like the, the golden vampire deal with uh, Samoa <laughs> Joe on Collision, I mean, how are they, how are they going to do this wonder. creatively? I mean, even though it's a big event and they're trying to draw off the nostalgia appeal of Joe and Punk back in Ring of Honor, even though you get a grander stage, I, I mean, I don't know. Give me your uh, your kind of fantasy booking, though. If you, you had a choice to kind of redo this a little bit, what, what okay. would you gentlemen do? I'll, I'll just I'm, go to whoever. I'm going to book after the match, and I hate to say it, but I heard this, and I I wouldn't be shocked if it happened. Samoa Joe beats CM Punk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jeez. CM Punk beats Samoa Joe. MJF retains at the end of the night. Punk comes out, holds up the title. There's your main event of All Out. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but I think it could go that route. And then if CM Punk wins again, I will quit AEW because that's the last straw. (laughs) Uh, well, I, yeah. and I'll go. No, I, I didn't mean you to cut you it. off. I, I Sorry, was, I'm no, done. <laughs> no, you 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 don't need to apologize. We we love hearing from you. I, I'll go to zero next, and uh, then I'll I'll go to Alex last here. So zero. I mean, how would you do anything differently with this whole punk and Joe scenario? Well, I'm going to be very controversial here, and Bobby's probably going to hate me for this. But but what I would do is, I would have I would have the match end. Obviously, punk wins as um you know punk beats uh joe after the match um all of a sudden then you have tony come down and start celebrating with cm punk as he does you know he just comes out like screaming like his little man child thing where he goes on the stage and starts stamping around and everything like he will have cm punk um yeah yeah come out you know yeah he'll give him a hug and that and then all of a sudden then you hear no chance in hell blast and vince comes down and fires all of them in the middle of the ring you know, and, um, that's how I would do it. You know, that's how I do it. <laughs> you know, Vince comes down, fires Tony Khan, fires um, the Punk, Vince as well as I now own W. I now own AEW. Bang. Couple, that's, um, that's how I book it. <laughs> that's yeah. I book it. Um, I thought my booking was unrealistic, but um, wow. <laughs> no, no, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I would just have Punk win, and then I don't know, then maybe a beat there and afterwards or something. Maybe the Bucks come out and beat down punk for everything that's gone on. Yes. <laughs> that's the best thing. And then you're like, oh, it's this logical due to their wrong. history. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. I, yes. I, I, I don't think the Bucks want anything to do with them, truthfully. I think no, punk I'm... I think punk would work through it. But yeah. I don't think the Bucks do. I, I think punk wants to work with all of yeah. them. 
Yeah, 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 but, yeah, but what, what I was thinking there, see, logically was, you know how Tony really doesn't care about anything, uh, yeah, literally, the company, all he literally needs to turn around and say to the box is just go out there and just beat him. You know, I really don't care even if it's safe, just literally just go out there and just beat <laughs> him. Got- and then, you know, just just go out there and just beat him. They'll happily work. They'll happily go and beat a punk in the middle and, of the ring. And then <laughs> Ryan Nemeth comes in. Yeah, and comes out and does it, yeah. <laughs> who CM Punk got fired. How do yeah. you get somebody fired who doesn't even work there? It's so impressive. I'm perplexed. Yeah. That's, yeah, they're, the, they're, that's, they're, that's the beauty of AEW. Out. And apparently, apparently, he had no say in sending Cage home. I don't know if mm. I believe that. But he did, the rumors are he texted Paige apologizing and saying if he'd known he was in the building, he would have tried to talk to him and work through a program. I wouldn't mind seeing that match again, but you got to have Hangman beat him. And CM Punk just doesn't lose to anybody. I mean, besides Ricky Starks and John Moxley, I don't know who he's lost to. And both were by, you know, short matches or cheating, so... Oh no! Yeah, I, I, I also I, feel the I same. I don't know either. I also feel the same that uh, Punk retain. Punk will retain hundred percent. He will retain, and yeah. I think had him uh, this uh, Hangman Page should come out and confront him. That will be a very big moment yeah, if cool. they are able to pull off that thing. Yeah, I I hate Hangman challenging for that stupid fake belt, but um, I mean it is real belt, real world title. Yeah, real world title. I mean, but to see a punk, uh, I almost said punk and Jeff. To see punk page, um, I think that would be a good step forward. And maybe mm-hmm. P- page clearly doesn't care. Page, page has no limits on what he can talk about. He wasn't at the fight, so I mean, maybe this is a good first step. And I mean, it's been confirmed that punk had no issues with Omega. If yes, if it was up to him, Omega wouldn't have been touched in that scenario. But and obviously Punk did not throw a punch at Omega. He left Omega alone. The other the other guy decided to be a rabid dog and bite him. But I mean Punk Page could be a step in the right direction if they ever want to work together, you know. It, it would create a buzz because I mean the the stories are coming out no matter how you look at it i mean it, mm. why not build on a storyline and have those mm. two if it can if they could coexist real personally. life tension real life tension makes it great and if they can get past their issues let's do it exactly and not, I mean, the reality life. reality tagline can they coexist the usual yeah. tagline always yeah yeah well that's I, the question i feel like page and punk would be fine I feel like Paige, yeah. I'm sorry, Punk and the Young Bucks is the real issue. I even feel like Punk Omega would be fine because Punk has stated he had no issues with Omega. Omega was just in the wrong spot, wrong time. And wrong fight. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. All in is going to be very interesting because we have another match, a tag match for the world title that uh, we should probably mention. I don't mean to segue. It's not on my own channel, but I kind of want to mention. No, no. Go, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Cash yeah. Wheeler, Cash Wheeler, you dumb box of... I don't even know. Like, okay. Guy gets in a road rage accident. Happens. I would say 95% sure he's bigger than the other guy. And you go and flex your dumb... Cash Wheeler's not a small guy by any means. And you're telling me you had to die. Uh, so dumb, so stupid. Like, but apparently the match is still on as of Monday. What's today's date? August 21st. I don't know. Um, it's interesting because I don't want the Bucks to win the titles again. I still think MGF and Cole should have won the titles, but. That's just me. Um, but Cash Wheeler, you dumb moron. <laughs> you know, Zero, uh, yeah, to Bobby's point, what what do you make of all this Cash Wheeler and AEW news? He's an idiot, basically. <laughs> That's what I'm of it. He's, he's, he's an idiot. It, all, it happened a couple of weeks ago, though. It, it wasn't, happened at the um, end of July. Yeah, yeah, it happened yeah. at the end of July. So, I mean, like, so. Like a month ago. 
you know, uh, AEW have been sat on that and they've booked all these matches in that, knowing full well that obviously what's gone down. I don't think they obviously... do. Oh, I don't think they do. Did they not? Do you no. Know, do, you, do you reckon he kept a secret or whatever? I, so, I, I, yeah. I read an article saying when they found out, we found out. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. so this is a bad look. Like, yeah. If true, if true, of course, I'm not saying, but yeah. if he didn't tell AEW, that's a bad look. Because, like, it's like the Vince and mm-hmm. um, Enzo thing. Uh, Enzo was accused, and they were like, well, we have to release you. They're like, yeah. if you would have told us, we could have tried to help. Matt Riddle did the same thing, but he did it right. He's like, hey, this yeah. is going to come out against me. And they were like, okay, thank you for telling us. We can get ahead of this. So yeah. all you got to do is be honest. I mean, they, they kept Jeff Hardy. like So, like, if he would have just yeah, told them, do. he probably would have yeah, probably would have been like, all right, <laughs> you messed up, but at least you were honest with us. But, yeah, I don't know. If they don't know, that's the problem in itself. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's mean, definitely not a good situation. Yeah. 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 But, I mean, it's... So, uh, yeah, I can't remember what I was going to say now. I was saying something then, but I can't remember. How um, does your country <laughs> let that man in? I just would like to know that. I, I, don't, I don't think he's going to be over it. I don't think so, because at the end of the day... They're, they're very strict on everything that you can do, and I, know, I mean, unless the, the only other way which the, the only other way which he can get in is if basically there's a bribe involved. That's the only way he's well, going to be able to get into the country yeah. is if there's a bribe but involved. Basically, he, he wasn't asked to um, surrender his passport. No mm. travel restrictions, mm. so I think he's good to go. Yeah, but yes. the thing is, yeah, yes. it, it, yeah, the, yeah. The, the American courts haven't given him it, but. The thing mm. is, and obviously, I obviously I, I'm where obviously I'm from the UK. So this is the thing: is as soon as he hits passport control over here, say like say like he flies into Heathrow Airport, which is more than likely where they come into over Heathrow okay. or Gatwick Airport over here. As soon as you hit passport control, they check for any convictions that you've got outstanding. So no, he, he could literally yes. Yeah, so, so he won't he won't have any. The U.S. courts haven't given him any travel restrictions, but what will probably happen is if they do try to get him over here, he'll hit passport control over here and he'll just get refused at the gate. They'll basically say to him, no, you're going back. And then what they'll do is they'll, they'll detain him at the airport. They'll detain him at yeah. the airport and send him back on the next available flight. That's how it is over here. You know, you, now, you wait, he got deported. Ha- yeah. But was he convicted, though? That's the thing. It right doesn't matter. It, do, it doesn't matter over here. It, does, it doesn't matter over here. Really? No, no, no. Because, no, because you know, you know, obviously the um you know, all the issue, yeah know. yeah but you, you know all the issues that jeff hardy's obviously have with the drink and everything like that yeah there's many well, times I mean, there's many, multiple time offender, yeah. But. Well, yeah, well, th- there was many years where jeff obviously had the things still outstanding in that and because he still obviously had an active court date going on and that we couldn't bring him over here because they had the same issue they tried to get him into the country one time before where he's where he was accused but like it hadn't you know, the court case hadn't finished. He came over here and he got refused at the gate and was sent straight back. Basically, mm-hmm. so that that's probably what's going to happen. Is if Tony tries to get him into the country, he'll get to passport control. And unless there's a bribe or something been done there, you know, unless Tony slips yeah. like passport control officer a couple of thousands, which he but, very you know, well can. No, yeah, you know, yeah. Unless unless there's basically yeah, a massive bribe. He, he'll, he'll, he'll just he'll hug the immigration guy. That's it. Oh, yeah. Just hug the immigration guy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll yeah. hug but him like and be like, "Fine, yeah. get off me, get him, mm. let, let him yeah. just get off of me." Yeah, but yeah, but that, that's what it is, because yeah, because it is even in the um, it's even in the laws here that if you have a conviction which you're still waiting for prosecution on, then you will be refused entry into the country. It's because that's the thing. So, I mean, that they're either going to have to ref- they're either going to have to change that match around beforehand or take the risk and try and see whether they can sneak him through. <laughs> but I don't think they will. I think he'll get refused. Is mm. in trouble, but Dash Wilder. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, yes, yeah, yeah. so he he can. Yes, yeah, so he can still come on in, but obviously, yeah, but Cash Cash won't. Cash will be able to come through. Yeah, I, I mean, they're, they're still advertising it. They advertise it on Collision. Apparently, they're going to be on yeah. Dynamite this week. Mm. Um, I saw I mean, that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they get him in that. Yeah, what what, what Zero said it is actually true. Cash will need cash at UK to enter UK. Mm. 
Yeah. It'll be like that. Made yeah, doable for them for what's a couple thousand yeah. to Tony Khan, you know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and, yeah and I'm not making excuses for him, but I I just feel mm-hmm. like uh, I just don't know the full details of of what yeah. caused him I mean, to get arrested. I'm I'm not saying it it validated it. I just would like to. I, I'm always looking for the other side of it too, yeah. and I'm saying I, that in a respect to the panel. I, I'm not you know defending yeah, Cash Wheeler. I just I just would kind of like to know because I'm I'm not saying you need to pull a gun on somebody, but yeah. I don't know who what this person could have done. Obviously, he upset him pretty. Yeah. Uh, Quite substantially yeah. is what I'm getting at to uh, yeah. cause such I'm, an issue. So, I hate it because I'm such a fan yeah. of those guys. So yeah. I hate to hear this. I I get wanting to protect yourself, but like, come on, bro. You're most likely. Yeah. To well, when like, when oh, is it enough? On. Yeah. You you probably had it. Like, probably had a, a distinct like, advantage. Now it's yeah. like if you felt your life was threat, all you got to do is be like, hey, I, I felt like he was going to try and do something. Okay. Now we're now we're talking business. If you feel your life's threatened, then it's game on. <laughs> then there's no limit. Yeah. Nothing's off limits to what you're going to do. But I haven't heard that yet. So. Yeah. And I, I see what you are saying, too. I, I'm just trying to, like, like any of us, look at it uh, both sides. And, yeah. And, that's so, and, and Alex, I mean. That's all I had to yeah. say was I yeah. felt like my life was threatened. And then it's like, okay. Then I, we weren't there. We don't know if you felt like your life was threatened. You do what you got to do. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I haven't heard yeah. that yet. So. Yeah, we go. Yeah, so I've, I've literally just done a bit more in-depth checking into it because I was sure it was. Basically, it says, if you've been convicted of a crime within the last four years, you will be, you will be refused entry into the country, basically. So he won't be able to come on in for four years now because that's, that's the UK thing. Yeah, it's if you've been convicted of a crime within the last four years, which has gone to court, you will be refused entry into the UK. Basically, we will find out what Friday. Mm, yeah, I mean, like I said, the only other way around Saturday it is they, 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 they can make Friday. special, ex- yeah, they can make special exceptions to it, but more than likely he'll get refused. And that, I mean, if he if he gets on in, then Tony's basically bribed somebody at immigration. That's the only way which he would have been able to get in. No, That's possible. Okay. Definitely not yeah. impossible. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't realize the loss. Yeah. Uh, sure. Alex, yeah. Yeah. And I ain't mean to interrupt you guys. Did you get enough? Uh, for, did I go to you on the Cash Wheeler stuff? I, th- I know you talked about it, but Please. did I give you a turn? No. You can talk about All In card. I'm like very excited to talk about that card. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Let, let's let's move on to some <laughs> positive he, news. He don't care about Cash Wheeler and his extracurricular activities. Well, I knew it was a big headline, and, and uh, yeah, you know, we wanted we, to discuss we, I, it. But I let, had to bring that up because I was like, as soon, dude, when news yeah, broke, I'm like, I saw he was arrested. I'm like, yeah. what is this? I thought DUI. Actually, I, it honestly, was. I feel. I feel this incident was very unfortunate, which happened with yeah. Cash. We don't know the entire story definitely what happens in reality. We all don't know. Right. Yeah. It is very unfortunate and I hope that he enters UK and he had the match because it is like one of the biggest matches, biggest tag matches. So I just hope that he stay in this UK and had this match. We can do predictions. We can do predictions if you want, because by the time the next time we do a show, yes, the show will be over. Yeah. I'm yes. The, I'm yeah, let, let's do it. There's nine matches Kid. right now. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Wow. Uh, when they announce uh, nine matches, <laughs> uh, C- CM Punk versus Samoa Joe is the ninth one. Okay. They announced a bunch of them on Wednesday, last Wednesday. Um. All right. Uh. I have the card. If I'll just blow through it. Okay, so yeah, you, if, uh, if you, you if you want to like do back it. to back to back, you tell the prediction of all the nine matches. Like yeah, which one you yeah. want to I'll just I'll like I'll go whoever wants to yeah. go and I'll do my thing last and um all right I guess we'll start with the buy in I guess. All right sure. yeah um we have Aussie Open Mark Davis and Kyle Fletcher defending the ROH World the Tag Team Championships versus MJF and Adam Cole baby what you guys got I've got a, a Aussie Open retaining. Okay, Alex, MJF and 
Adam Cole. Zero. Um, I say obviously open because they're gonna probably have uh, MJF and Adam Cole beat beat down each other during the match. Yeah. I'm going. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. MJF and Cole. I hope so, man. I oh, give them all the belts for all I care, man. I think. Oh, I think they're so great, <laughs> and I love. I love MJF even more now that I met him. Um. All right. Next up. Assuming this match still happens, as of right now, it is still on. FTR defending the AEW World Tag Team Championships against the Young Bucks. We'll reverse this. Zero. Who you got? I don't know. Probably the Bucks. Okay. I, I mean, yeah. it's fair. Alex? Bucks. Tyler? I'm going FTR, man. I think I'm going FTR as well. I, I don't know. I mean, I could see them pulling the trigger with this incident with cash but i don't know i don't i, I th- i'm going fdr i'm sticking with it all right next match so we have two, we got two ftr two young bucks i believe we have two aussie open and two mjf and adam cole it's interesting yeah it is very Ooh. interesting huh okay now this one should be very interesting as well women's fatal four-way aw women's world championship we got the champion Hikaru Shida defending against Tony Storm, defending against Soraya, and defending against Dr. Britt Baker's DMD. Tyler? I probably did that awful. Who you got? No, you, you did a great job, Bobby. This one's Thank a you. little bit more complex because yeah. uh, Soraya's in, in England. So, you know, Tony Storm's had a history in the UK. A part, of, you know, it could go a lot of different ways. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Britt Baker. Fair enough. Alex? I'll go with Hikaru Shida retaining the title. Zero? Um, Say Soraya, because it's the UK. I, I thought we were all going to have different opinions. I'm going with Soraya for the same reason. I think, I think mm-hmm. Shida just won the belt to have that 200th Dynamite moment. I think that's why they did it. And, I mean... We don't know how much time Soraya has left. So, I mean, I think they're going to give it to her. I think I'm going with Soraya. All right. This next matchup, I think, is easy. But Darby Allen and Sting versus Air Fox and Swerve Strickland at Tag Team Coffin Match. Zero. Why are these matches happening? Probably Sting and Darby, I reckon. Alex, and, go, and we'll go into why it's happening after. Alex, who you got? Sting. Sting Tyler. I've, I've got to go with uh, Sting and Darby Allen, even though I think Swerve and AR Fox should get a win. But with Sting, this being probably his last run, they're probably wanting to give him the victory. So that's yes. why. I'm going Sting and Darby Allen. Now, at first, when this match was announced, I was like, oh, they could have Darby turn on Sting, set up Darby versus Sting, and then that could be Sting's last match. It's a coffin match. It's kind of hard to turn on your partner when you both have to go in the coffin because, you know, Darby turns on him then just lays down in the coffin. It's weird. Um, I'm going Sting and Darby. Uh, I, I guess you can do Sting in versus Darby another time. I, mean, I think that's where that's going, but I could be wrong. All right. So we all agree on that one. Next up, we have a six-man tag. We have the Golden Elite, Kota Ibushi, Kenny Omega, Hangman Page, Versus Bullet Club Gold, Juice Robinson and Jay White, and Konesuke, Konsuke Takeshita. <laughs> yeah, that was awful. I know it's Takeshita. I don't know his first name. Konsuke, how do you say it? Do you know? Konosuke. 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 Oh. Yeah, Konosuke. ask Alex. Cause I... Take- it's Takeshita. I got that part. Yes. Ko- Whatever. <laughs> I can't do hey, it. Hey, whatever you want it to be. Yeah. Uh, who did I start with last? I think I started with zero, so Tyler. Actually, you know what? No, let's, sorry, Tyler. Alex. You're always second. Let's I'll, go first. I'll go with this Konosuke Takeshita and this Bullet Club Gold. Why? Because it is. at least he should win a match. He's just there. 
and Who? finally he's Jackson? getting a match yes he's yeah. not winning a match and even jay white what he's doing there he just sign and he's all elite that's it nothing so at least they should yeah. win a match in front of 80000 people that will be yeah. a good push to all of them yeah. <laughs> uh tyler well as much as i i would normally agree with alex i'm going to have to something tells me it's going to be the golden elite kitty omega uh, sure. i don't know why <laughs> uh zero um i've got uh, my mic for you then um, I don't know on that one actually. Yeah, I'll say the Golden Elite. You should give. The... <laughs> like Alex said, to catch the pinning Omega would be interesting. Yes. I just don't. I'm not sure if I see it. I'm going the Golden Elite. Uh, yeah. And uh, I once told somebody, a wrestling fan, because I saw Jay White in person in Dallas. I was like, wow, he really skinny guy. He started cursing me out for that. I'm like, is that, a, is that, I'm like, wait, is that a bad thing? I'm like, all I said was he's really skinny in person. Like, he has muscle. You have no idea. I'm like, did I not? I'm like, skinny, not fat, skinny. I'm like, what is this? All right, next up. Now this is, I'm excited for, truly. Stadium, Stam. Speed. We got, all right, work with me here, folks. Eddie Kingston, Orange Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, Trent, Penta, and Phoenix versus the Blackpool Combat Cub, Moxley, Claudio Castagnoli, Wheeler Yuta, and three TBAs. Now, before we get into the results, throw out some guesses on who you think the partners could be. Go. Can I let you go first? Oh, anybody. Well, uh, no, it it can be anybody. Uh, The three people, I have no idea. I mean, that's what makes it hard. So I'm going to be boring on that answer. I I like Eddie Kingston, man. Uh, The more I see of him, I I just, I love the guy. So I'm going to go with his team. The Lucha is the best friends. And and Orange Cassidy's involved too. So yeah, I guess I'll have to go there. All right. Alex, do you have any guesses on who the three could be? Uh,. It'll be mostly this Goldberg, Ryback, and Mordecai. Sorry, did you say Ryback? <laughs> Goldberg, yeah. Ryback, and who? Mordecai. You remember there was a guy who was like wow. kind of Undertaker I, I do remember. Yeah. gimmick. Yeah, with white getup and all. Kevin Thorn uh, from yeah. CW, you remember? Oh, Kevin Thorn, yes. Yeah, yes, Kevin Thorn, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Oh. <laughs> Wow. But I'll go with Eddie Kingston only. I'll go with Eddie Kingston. Okay, Eddie for the win. Zero, do you have any ideas who the partners will be and who you think is going to win? Goldberg, Gilberg, and um, what's his name? No chins guy. Um, James Ellsworth. James Ellsworth. Ellsworth. Yeah, James Ellsworth. (laughs) That's right. No chin chin guy. (laughs) No chin guy, that's it. No chin guy, James Ellsworth. That's him. I forgot what his name was there. I want Goldberg, Ryback, and Goldberg's character from Santa's Slay. So two Goldbergs. No. Um, I thought of, I have two names. I can't think of the third. But this would be an ideal time to have them return. Santana and Ortiz. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's very good. Yes, that's very good. The history is there with Eddie. Um... I believe they went to war with Moxley, or they were on Moxley's team last year. I can't really remember. Was it Blood and Guts? Yeah, the, were they the still on Moxley's match? team? Yeah, that was the last uh, time we I saw think so. They were against. They were against Moxley. Was for um. Was, okay. Was for yes, the, they were with Jericho. Yeah. Yes. Uh, whilst we're on the AEW news thing, um, something's just come down from Fightful on the Elite. I will just bring this one up. Okay. Um, apparently, they are looking to sign. There's been rumors going around about a free agent coming on into AEW. Um, everyone's been guessing people like Goldberg and Edge right. and everything like that. It's come down that it's actually a female wrestler called Maria May. Um, oh, I know 25, her. Mariah. Yeah, tw- Mariah yeah, 20, I know her. Yeah, yeah, 25 year old UK born wrestler. Um, she has been. Um, there's been huge discussions of her coming into AEW, and she could be the surprise at. All in. That's what Fight Falls basically put out. 
by I'm a big Rego. fan. That's, yeah, so that's that's just praise or ways. whatever. But yeah. 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 Um, so that's that's the um, that's the name that's coming down. I, I just wanted to cut in with that because I obviously came down whilst we've been recording this. So Mariah yeah, May. So okay. the, yeah, so Mariah May is the name going around at the moment apparently. Right? So, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big fan in multiple ways. And like like, like Bobby said about this uh, team and Santana, they, recently I have seen a report that I think Santana or this another guy is uh, cleared for oh. wrestle. I think so. Oh, they are um, medically um, cleared. Who is Santana? I think so. I'm pre- I think so. I mean, it's been over a year since he blew out his knee. So. It's been a long time. He yeah. it was last June, last June. Yeah. So yeah, I I would think he unless he had setbacks, of course, which is possible. <laughs> unless he but had I, setbacks, I like which is possible. I mean, um, and then I my third, I would just draw the guy who's usually with Santana or Ortiz. I think his name is Homicide. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's hey. that's yeah. just a throw a third name in there. Yeah. I, I could be wrong. Alex. Straight they bring back the Alex mm. from uh, TNA. Mm. Yeah, that's the best yeah. thing. For sure. Yeah. Well, and I said uh, it was Santana. I said Santina, like he is his name change or something. That, I was Santina. laughing about that. Santina Morella. You know. Fuck it. Yeah, that's Fuck what it. I was Let's thinking. Go. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Um, and I'm picking. I'm still picking. Um, uh, Team Kingston for the win. Team good guys. Um, uh, you can have Ortiz take the pin if he's in it. You can have Homicide take the pin if he's in it. Um. Yeah, I, I just see the good guys standing tall. You should have Kingston pin Moxley. Now that would be interesting. Yes. But, all right, next or up. Claudio. This one. Ooh, better Ooh, yet. Yes. Good, good yes. idea. That would be a better idea, choice. Tyler. Good idea, Tyler. Knowing yes. their heat. Yeah, going back to yes. Ring of Honor, not locking yes. each other. Actually, forget Moxley. Uh, Eddie pinning... Uh, I almost said Eddie pinning Kingston. Eddie pinning Claudio. Eddie, Eddie Penn and Kingston, but to do it. All right, next match. Uh, we have Will Ospreay versus Chris Jericho singles match. No stipulation, no nothing. Uh, Tyler, who you got? Uh, you know, this is a tough one. I, I'm fascinated with this matchup. Uh, I want to say Will Ospreay, but knowing Jericho as much as I like him, I feel like he may get the win. But I've yeah. got to go Osprey though. I'm I'm going with Osprey. Uh, I'm kind of contradicting myself. I'm going Osprey. Okay, uh, Alex. Osprey. Zero. Yeah, I'll say Osprey as well. Yeah. This one's tough because Osprey kind of will go away after this one, I believe. Um, but Jericho is about putting these guys over now, so. I mean, if he put action on Dreddy over. I think he would put Will Ospreay over. So I'm going Ospreay. But I wouldn't be surprised if Jericho pulls out the win. Um, all right. So we're all on the Ospreay train. <laughs> Next match. Singles match for the real world championship. CM Punk versus Samoa Joe. Zero. I'm going to stick with what I said originally, which is CM Punk. Yeah. Alex. Yeah. Punk. Uh, Tyler. Sorry. I actually don't mind Punk, but I I kind of like Joe in this scenario. I'm going Samoa Joe, just to change it up a little bit. I wouldn't mind it, but I don't. But CM Punk runs AEW, and like Roman, he'll lose that fake belt whenever he wants. So I'm going with CM Punk. Um, all right, and then the main event, I assume mjf versus adam cole for the AEW world championship who do we got tyler let's start it off my man i think it's got to be mjf as much as i like adam cole i just don't see mjf needing to lose the belt and i think we're going to see the hill mjf again i think i think the yeah i think it's got to be i I think this has been a fun ride as a tag team but mjf has been fun but he's better i I still like him as that vindictive hill so i'm going mjf for him Alex? I'll disagree with Tyler in this one. Well, I'll go with the result. MJF will win. But yeah. Adam Cole will turn on MJF and MJF will, MJF will turn babyface. A double turn. Yes. Oh. I, hey, I would not oh. be mad at that. 
I mean, I MJF could. showed he could be a really good guy. Oh. Yes. Oh, brutal, but I love it. Oh, zero. Um, I'll go MJF. I'm going yeah. MJF as well. But how they get there could be very interesting. We could have a double turn. We could have Roderick Strong cost M- or, uh, Roderick Strong cost Adam Cole. By the way, Roderick Strong, you deserve your flowers. You have been great in this storyline. He's had a neck brace on for what now? Two months? Something like yeah. that? And yeah. when he kicked the tire right. of the car and he just goes down and grabs his foot. And then one of the Kingdom guys says, hey, shake it off. He's like, what did you say? Because MJF told him to shake it off like a week ago. So Strong's losing his mind. I, Roderick Strong, he, it's the MJF and Cole show, but Roderick Strong, props for props, is due. He's been great. I'm going MJF. Um, I just, yeah. I, I, I think Cole could be the one to beat him eventually. But not yet. Not just yet. Now, one more thing. Do we have a surprise appearance in line? I know we mentioned some people, but like, you know. Who do we think? New Saini. New Saini yeah. kind of. Who do you think? You got a name or no? Goldberg. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hi. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't have anything because I'd I, I, I have I to know. research and kind of look at the options. Yeah. I'll, I'll throw out Santana, I think. And this is an easy match for him to return to because the cameras aren't always on them. So if they yeah. go backstage, you can just take it easy. So I think I think Santana, this is the likely spot for him. But I, I could be way wrong with these three guys. It could be Goldberg, Gilbert, and James Ellsworth. You know what, Zero? If it's those yeah. three... I'll yeah. I'll I'll pay pal you a hundred bucks. Okay. Truthfully, <laughs> I'll, I'll give me your info and I will pay pal you a hundred bucks if it's those three on the dot. Because and then I'm gonna ask you for three letters or three numbers to play the lottery. So, because this Hello? guy's a wizard at that point. Yeah. Um. Uh. Do we think any more matches could get added to all it? No, no. It will be too long then. Already nine I, matches you are saying so it is too much. The only thing I could possibly see getting added is the acclaimed and Billy Gunn versus the House of Black. But 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 but, but we do have a pay per view the very next week. So yeah. right. Maybe the, it will you, be added. You may want to save it. Yeah, no, no. yeah that's yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this is it. I wouldn't be surprised if well, I mean matches could get added to the buy in. I didn't really think about that. I know it doesn't really count, Maybe. but you know. Um, for all out, I think I, they I just announced what? one no, match. They just announced one match, I think. So for all out till now, this powerhouse oh, Hobbs versus Miro, I think. So right. And and uh, Darby versus Luchasaurus. Uh, TNT title. Oh, okay. Um, I'm mm-hmm. looking to make sure right now. Uh, yes, those are the only two as of recording. <laughs> Luchasaurus with the TNT champion Christian Cage versus Darby Allen. <laughs> it doesn't say that, but I just put that together. Um, yeah, that's all in prediction, so let's see. And uh, back to the host, Tyler. No, I, I think it's great. Yeah, you, you all jump in. If it, like, I think it is important that we get the uh, all in predictions. Let, yeah. Let's uh, move on from AEW back to some WWE news. Actually, a couple of these topics will be WWE to, to end the program. Uh, what do we know about Roman Reigns not appearing at Payback? I mean, what what can you all tell us? And do you think that's going to affect Payback? I mean, or WWE has enough depth and headliners, they'll be fine without yeah. Roman Reigns needing to be on the card. Uh, give me uh, some of your feedback. And whoever they'll, wants to go. They'll do... Um, this could be the first pay-per-view where we actually see Seth for the main event defending that title. I, th- I think they're going to do Seth versus Shinsuke um in the main event or if not you'll end up having a six-man tag in the main event that's how it'd be with no room in it you're either going to have the world heavyweight championship in there or a six-man tag that's that's it's not going to affect it anyway i don't i can't personally see that at all basically it, sh- it should be seth and shinsuke 100%. yeah it should be 
Definitely, yeah. Because obviously they've not actually main evented yet because of course because of Roman. But I mean, with no Roman now in for a couple of months now, this now gives them the perfect opportunity now to have Seth main event for a couple of months and that. Uh, and no Usos. Yeah. No bloodline. Yeah, no bloodline. No yeah, bloodline, bloodline in yeah. general. Yeah. Well, I mean, I well, Jimmy's yeah, on... Yeah, um, been too much. J- J- Jimmy's, Jimmy's is on SmackDown and that, and obviously they're going to try and play this out for as long as possible. But yeah, they ain't going to have any more sort of bloodline main events. It's going to give people yeah. more opportunities. I mean, the only other way which they can do it is maybe they have Becky and Trish main event for the Steel Cage match. But no. I can't I can't see them picking Becky and Trish to main event over, like, Seth and Shinsuke. I can't yeah. see that. I mean, there's always that possibility, because obviously you have people complaining that the women never main event, so... There's obviously there's always just that niggling thing in the back of your mind, basically. I you know? love Trish Stratus. I've met her. Yeah. Very nice woman. Very polite. But I'm over this. <laughs> I really am. She, um, she wrestled at a main event last night. She wrestled on one of the um, house shows last night. Trish did. Like I said, I love Trish. She's very yeah. nice. But I'm over this feud. Like, please. Yeah. Definitely, we'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about it. Go ahead, Alex. Yeah, Tyler. No, yeah, Tyler. See, see. No, I was just going to say continue. I, I, I was just saying we'll get we'll get to Trish too because I, I think that's an important topic. No, you can continue. That's all I was going to answer. I feel the main event will not be Seth versus Shinsuke. It will be a multi-man, multi-man title match. Maybe triple threat or fatal four-way. Don't know. It is just my gut feeling that. It will be a multi mind It will not be one on one. I mean, because there are I mean, many I, people who are involved in the title picture yeah. at the moment. It's yeah. Not only Shinsuke. I, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I agree with you there because obviously, if you've noticed, Judgment Day have obviously been having that massive thing with Cody and stuff. So, I yeah. can see personally, I, I can personally see the main event because Judgment Day are actually on the poster for Payback. Mm-hmm. They're, they're the main stars on it, so I can see it's going to be um, Finn, Dominic, and uh, Damian. Versus maybe Cody, um, KO, and Sammy. That's what I can see at the moment. Because of course, because they uh, have that figure, haven't they? So that's what I can wait, see. Wait, though. What about Drew and Riddle, which I do want to bring up, versus uh, KO and Sammy for the belt? Yeah, but that's that's not actually been finished yet, has it? Because I mean, tonight. No, no, no. I'm just saying, could it? Because they face New Day tonight. Mm-hmm. They're obviously going to pull yeah. through them. Yeah. I, now. I don't know about you guys, but I see this true riddle thing playing out one way or another. I, they yeah, win- I, 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 I truly, I truly think they're going to get the six man out of the way first, so they can end that bit yeah. with Cody and the judge, with Cody, Sammy, and KO versus the Judgment Day. I can see them ending that feud first because you got to think what what are we away now from payback? What two, three weeks? Mm-hmm. Something like that, isn't uh, it? Yeah, like two weeks. Yeah, yeah two weeks. So yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, so play that out for the next two weeks till payback, and then you can then have, say, I don't know, because obviously if Drew and Riddle win the match against the New Day tonight or whenever it is, I think it's tonight on Raw. Um, yeah, and they're gonna. They, yeah, 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 well, yeah, well, if, if they win that one tonight, then what I can personally see then is Aiton Man and say that maybe the, they get the title shot next week with, leading into payback, or they get the title shot oh, after think? payback yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And that just to give, because you've got to think, they like to give Raw some big matches. So if you then put on Raw that title match, you know, you've got it, you've got it there, and then that way then they can then shove the six man match on payback to get that feud completely finished and everything like that. So yeah, it's either gonna be Chef it's either gonna be Seth versus Shinsuke or that six man match. Like what Alex was saying, that's the main event. I can see that. Personally. Yeah, me me as well. And I see it as a it's an opportunity for some other stars to break out. I mean, I mean, they need to be uh, re-elevated, even, even the ones that are established. Because I'll be honest, on this topic, as good as the bloodline has been, I'm starting to see some flaws. And I, yeah. I think that's why it's good if they yeah. take breaks, to your point. Because how many times can we see Solo, Jimmy and Jay and Roman? I think you they get it. You can overexpose uh, even a successful faction. And, and even with Heyman, even though he is good by himself, yeah. I just, that, that's a trend I'm, I'm seeing, it, and that's with a lot of companies. And this is a good chance for uh, some more storylines that are new and fresh that can be successful, that the creativity can flow. And, and that's what I would like to see. And I know we got Judgment Day, but and we, we've got a lot of this, but I've also seen a lot of missteps. And I'm, I'm not one to say I could create your book, but I've got to be honest. 
uh, the bloodlines got a little bit stagnant to me, a little bit. And I didn't think I would say that, but I, I know it can't hit a peak every time but i need to see something different so i'm actually relieved maybe we don't get the bloodline on payback that's fair i agree with tyler in this yes no break because it is getting too long and this jimmy turning on jay was like it was very distasteful for me this was the perfect ending for jay when they put a tribal combat rules then why you break the rules that the rules <laughs> yeah. were nobody should interfere and everybody is interfering in the match then why the fuck was the, the <laughs> gimmick was there for no reason yeah. i'm scratching my it. head still i'm you know. yeah and no no i had oh. to bring it up just one quick thing on the drew thing do we think this drew riddle partnership ends in drew turning heel yes i think so too i it's think it's got to doesn't it i think yes. they could lose the tag title match at payback mm-hmm. maybe and then Drew just claymores his head off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and then you have yeah. Drew beat Riddle at uh, uh, Fast Lane. There you go. Mm-hmm. And then you have Drew come for that. Or yes. Or or it happens tonight if the new if the new day beat. Um, I doubt beat the new day are beating them. I highly doubt that. I mean, they do like the new day in WWE. Yeah, they but do, they I do like the new day. <laughs> I don't. I th- I think this is leading to a tag title match, eventually, mm-hmm. somewhere. Yeah. And then, but they also could win the belts. I because Owens and Zayn are both injured, or are they both yeah. back now? I don't think. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Back up. Okay. Okay. No. So maybe not. Okay. Yeah. But also, I it's wouldn't mind both of them time. turning heel. I wouldn't yeah. mind both Drew and Riddle turning heel. But also, I want Drew on his own, so I'm torn. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I want Drew by himself, and I, I'll let you guys finish. But, but speaking yeah. of some other stuff, you know, payback. I don't know. We haven't seen the the official card yet. Uh, what a little bit I saw a SmackDown going with uh, damage control. Do you guys see maybe an analogy where Bailey and Dakota Kai could turn on EO Sky? I mean, I, I've often wondered what what if you. You don't have just Bailey turn on him uh, with Dakota Kai getting healthy and her appearing. This way, EO Sky can break out a little more. Speaking of people getting elevated to where yeah. they can get away yes. from it. That's just one way to look yeah. at it. I'm not saying I'm it's right it. or wrong. Yes, it can, 100% I agree. You yeah. need feuds for ba- uh, uh, EO. So. Yeah. I mean, the, co- the coach is not going to be cleared till next year. So if anything, it's going to be it's Bailey versus board. EO. Because yeah, because the mm-hmm. the coat is the coat is only appearing, and they've been last minute things. Because um, she's even said this herself that literally they're ringing her like a couple of hours before the show, saying get down here, basically. You know, we need you here just to let you just come out and make appearances. But she's she's nowhere near cleared. That they're they're not looking to clear her until at least twenty twenty four. So yeah, if they are going to do the, yeah yeah, so if they are going to do the turn, yeah. then it's going to be it's either going to be next year they're going to do the turn or they're going to. Um, or they'll just do Bailey versus EO and that for it. But yeah. I've seen I've seen people saying things as well that they reckon that um EO might not hold it for very much longer. But EO might not hold that belt for much longer because she keeps messing up. She keeps messing up like promos and she keeps missing spots and everything. And apparently she's not having a good reception backstage from it. So yeah. I can see her drop it. So if they are gonna do it, maybe they do have Bailey's the one who takes it off of her. Or you have the it's better. It's in. better. Yeah. It's better that you drop the title to Asuka. Like somehow they try and they have the this match. You versus Asuka. Yeah. yeah and yeah, let's credit better. Bianca for yeah for her selling. I mean she know. I mm. I have just been impressed because she sold the leg again from the damage yeah. control yeah. attack and it it was brilliant. I mean I bought it and that's the whole key. Yeah, we, we need to suspend our disbelief. And, hey, let's not forget about Bianca, too. I, I can't believe I'm bringing this up and leaving out the yeah. EST. D- does she need to be the heel? I mean, does she – or is that going to hurt her? I mean, what do you guys think? Because we kind of tease who needs, uh, you know, a new dimension to the character. She Fresh should join the hard business. She should join this uh, Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. Ooh. That's the perfect thing for her at the moment. Yeah, I, I – I like it. Zero, what, what do you think about Bianca's direction 
yeah, you agree I, with I, Alex? I agree with Alex. I do actually agree with Alex there as yeah, is that he's uh is that she should join Lashley's new faction so they can actually you know, bring a female in for it. And then yeah, they've even got more possibilities there. I mean you with the um whatever they're called now. Her business or whatever they're called or I don't know. Her business too, electric boogaloo. Yeah, I'd be for it. Two point oh, uh yeah, somebody threw out maybe it could be her business two point or something. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. That, that doesn't mean that's going to be the title, but somebody had suggested. There we go. Um, just um, just something else as well. Actually, whilst we're on the subject a minute, um, it's just come down. So I just thought I'd mention this now. The official um, poster featuring all the superstars for Survivor Series has come out. Um, you've got Sammy and KO, both the Usos, Bobby Lashley, The Judgment Day, Bianca, Oscar, Rhea, oh. Cody, and Seth, basically. After yeah. Survivor Series, it shows on there. So no room in Survivor Series. I read this on Twitter. Yeah. Now, wait. Yeah, exactly. War Games. You have the yeah. Judgment Day with JD McDonough. Yeah. Versus yeah. Seth, Cody, Zane Owens. Thoughts on for it. Most likely this yeah. match will happen. This is the only I'm option which is. I hope so. I'm for yeah. that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so, like so uh, yeah. go ahead, Zero. That's my yeah. bad. Yeah, so I, I can see then maybe, maybe that's then where they do kind of something involving some of the members of the bloodline. Maybe you have Jimmy versus Solo or, you know, Jay versus Solo there or whatever at Survivor yeah. Series just to keep it going. So. Because you know they're not going to keep them off for months, so you're having something at one of the big shows there, such as like, like I said, like one of the twins versus Solo and stuff. So obviously, then at least have some Bloodline members on there if you're not having Roman on that show, right? That's what I can say. Anyway, for my for my thing for that. But, yeah. No, I I could see it too. Uh, and and going to Trish Stratus, going circling back to uh, Stratus and Becky Lynch. Do you think this is finally going to be it for her run? Speaking of people ending their careers, I mean, I would think so after this steel cage match, no matter what happens. I guess it'll depend. I'll contradict myself. I'll go back. It'll depend on the result. What, what do you guys think? I'll, I'll go to you, uh, whoever first, Bobby. I mean, any takers? Um, I mean, well, we never got that Trish Alexa Bliss match, but that's not happening, clearly. Um, I could see this being it for Trish. Um, yeah. I mean, heck of a career. Nothing really else to do. She puts over Becky in the end. She puts over the, the top two biggest star right now and goes her goes on her merry way. I mean, like if this is her last match, so be it. I wouldn't be shocked. Mm -hmm. But I like I said, I'm, I'm tired of this feud, but. <laughs> to put over Becky, it's, it's all worth it in the end, I believe. So, let Becky beat her, and yeah. I mean, Trish, what else does she have to do? She's come back, she's lost to Charlotte, she's come back, she lost to Becky, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, there's nothing else. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard not to uh, concur. Uh, Alex, uh, any thoughts on if this will be it for Trish? On this... I'll, I'll just say that just imagine that they stretch this rivalry a bit more. This match, Lita returns and something mm -hmm. happened like maybe she cost Becky or something like that. And then this match stretched till the Saudi event where you can have this Lita and Trish versus Becky and maybe someone, Zoe. someone else. Maybe. Wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. Wait. Wait, wait, you said Lita and Trish. I'm sorry, I just I, I blanked. Yeah, that. Lita no, 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 and Trish not, versus. Not, sorry, not, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Becky and um, I don't even know. I don't know why. Anyone? <laughs> yeah, just anybody. I mean, it, or, it or another another people. thing that you can they can do like Becky and Lita versus Zoe and Trish. That also happened. That can also happen. Yeah, they haven't done that yet. So yes, yeah, they can stretch this. So yeah, I am I am feeling that this rivalry will go like. Two months more. No, it could because you you did bring up a, a astute observation, Lita. She can still come back. Yes. Uh, Zero. Uh, what do you think of Alex? Uh, his perspective that hey, maybe if Lita gets involved, uh, it could stretch out this current run for Trish. 
Yeah, I mean, that could be... Um, I, I could see them potentially doing some of that. Or, again, I maybe like what Bobby was saying, that she's done after this and that they have something else. Like, Because you've got to think, they're going to need something for Saudi. And what I could possibly see for Saudi with, regarding Becky would be Becky versus Rhea, for example. That was um because they've still they've still got to get that match out of the way and everything yet and doing That's that in a Saudi WrestleMania 15, match though yeah but, yeah but I mean obviously they treat Saudi don't they as like WrestleMania yeah. kind of like, WrestleMania yeah. sort of best yeah, shows so yeah so and, I, and I can maybe see in this uh, Saudi. Sa- Saudi event they have this Trish versus Lita double retirement match their last match <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who wins? Why, why not yeah, I mean yeah. I mean. I mean, they're best friends in real life, so like, sure, why not? You know? Yeah. And and yeah. Alex, um, that that's good because they're, you know, like Bobby said, they're they're both uh, good friends in real life. Yeah. Why not uh, wrestle against each other? Each other, part of me, one last time, and and that be the finale. Yeah. Why not? Let's roll it. Yeah. Hey. Anything can happen. I mean, and speaking of anything else, I mean, any other topics or news uh, from Zero or any of you gentlemen to uh, to add on to the conversation, or does this cover? Not, it? No. not that I can, no, I can think see. of. Um, no. Party at Zero's house for all in. Just show up. He'll yeah, be, no, just absolutely just text not. me, <laughs> message me. I'll send you his address. Don't worry. Fine. No, just <laughs> say Bobby sent you. It's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely uh, not. He's got all the liquor. He's got all the food. So, Boy, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, so he he's going to attend all in, right? Zero is going to attend all in. Yeah, I mean, oh, we no, have no, to have some, we have to have somebody there. Absolutely yeah. not. I'm I'm busy, I'm busy this weekend. <laughs> We're doing what? I've actually got family down. To be fair, yeah, sure, this weekend. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you do. That's fine. Bring family to all in. Better yet. No, it's alright. They, they would rather um watch paint dry than watch all in. <laughs> Well, you're that pretty works. much watching the same thing, so it's <laughs> AEW is like watching paint drive. So there you go. You just get oh. to do it around eighty thousand crazy fans. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I really. Hey, you have Moxley bleed on you. I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm alright with that. Mm. So, I mean, let, let's do this. We, we, yeah, we we need to plug where we can find everybody. That's what we should yes. do. <laughs> yeah. I got it. Uh, I'll go first. Uh, Bobby's breakdowns on Instagram. Bobby's breakdown on Twitter. I hate that. Um, we have merch, folks. We have merch, and I do ship, but you might have to pay for it. Uh, yeah, we have hoodies. If you follow my Instagram, you've seen I've had um two very lovely ladies model them for me. Because let's be real, <laughs> nobody wants to see me model. Um. You can all agree. It's okay. I'm not blind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, follow me. Hit me up. Uh, if you want to talk wrestling, let's do it. Uh, I'm kind of bad at DMs at some point. Zero can confirm. Um, but I will get back to you eventually. I promise. I do promise that. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, otherwise, enjoy yeah, Check him it. out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, on my YouTube, well, enjoy all these breakdowns. We're almost at a thousand. A thousand. We're almost at four hundred. Um, I lied there. We're almost at four hundred. We're at three eighty nine as we speak. So let's get there. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for me. Now you you heard the man go support him, give him those likes and subscriptions yes. for Bobby from Bobby's breakdowns. Also zero news and zero. Uh, please share where people can find uh, zero news and yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you can find us on uh, Twitter or X as it is now, at uh, at New Zero it is, um, or our website, which is zeronews.co.uk. Uh, we do use other platforms, but I'm hardly on them, so that's probably the best way to get a hold of us, if need be. Um, yeah, we've got content coming out soon. I've actually got a few things planned um, to come to the website very soon, and also coming to the Twitter very soon. Um, it's just in the planning stages still at the moment, but um, yeah, so that's where you can find us. Well, for it. Very cool. And Alex, uh, do you want me or you to plug WrestleBuddy? I mean, either one because we both okay, represent we'll it. Do. Okay, we'll yeah, 
He gave me permission. Okay. Yeah, please go like, follow, and subscribe to the Wrestle Buddy YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm a walking billboard. Uh, who knows anymore? But I'll tell you, this has been a, a lot of fun. I'll tell you the truth. Uh, let us talk to you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Bobby, from Bobby's Breakdowns, Zero for Zero News. And, of course, the director for the WB, Alex, the invisible hand himself. And I'm Tyler Peters, uh, the host they put up with that uh, off air. They, they may uh, say, hey, this guy needs to be fired. But I digress. Thank Anyways, uh, I'm signing off saying goodbye for now. And we'll talk to you later. Yeah, we, we better leave now. That, that's a good good cue. Goodbye. You can all Woo! you can all see our videos in xvideos.com. <laughs> there you go. Oh. And that, that that'll be it. I'm yes. dead. <laughs> <laughs>